all right so first up we have a way out so this is on a new low co-op game very popular from hazel light they have they make a lot of these co-op style games and yeah this is a story about two prisoners and their uh you know escape and stuff like that so check this out very very positive and this is 85 percent off 449 dollars 225 in india six uh, in canada six in australia 95 in mexico next is generation zero i tried this game a little bit i liked this game and i've been thinking of giving this game another try so it's a big open world survival game a looter shooter set in the 1980s in sweden so i think a bunch of kids teenagers they go on like a holiday or something they come back and everything is deserted everything but has gone and there are these giant mechs everywhere so it's that sort of theme so um it's had a bit of a resurgence lately with uh, the game being put on game pass so this one here is a great game it's also made by avalanche i think 80 percent off 220 in india five dollars 429 in the uk six in Canada. 41,400 in Indonesia, 129 in the Philippines. Need for Speed Payback. So every sale we get a bunch of Need for Speed games on sale. Uh, this one I feel is the best deal is from 2017, very positive reviews. 90% off this one. Uh, 150 rupees, $3, uh, 249 in the UK, 4 in Canada, 3 in the Eurozone. Firewatch, so a very popular story driven, you could say, walking simulator style game. It's been out for a while, out from 2016, and I think this is also on a new low. So this is 80% off, 176 in India, $4, 335 in the UK, 390 in the Eurozone. Alice Madness Returns, so a platformer horror game, you could say. Um, based on the Alice in Wonderland sort of thing. And again, a bit of a cult hit was, I think, uh, removed from digital distribution and then EA brought it back. Uh, so this is available now for 90% off, only 100 rupees, $2, $149 in the UK, and $269 in Canada, and two euros. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. So if you're looking for another dragon-based fantasy medieval RPG in third person, you could check this out this is very popular another popular cult hit you could say originally on playstation then got ported to pc and a decent length has an interesting companion system so this one is 84 percent off 288 in india 479 dollars uh 383 pounds 639 in canada shadow warrior 2 so your uh, could say fps hack and slash style game and again, very gory, over-the-top action game. This is 90% off again, 130 only in India, $3, 389 in Canada, 24,600 in Indonesia, and 33 in Mexico. Spirit of the North uh, is a sort of exploration-style game, mystery. You are like a fox or something. Again, I'm not 100% sure because I've not played this game. The games uh, that come later on in the video are games I've played. So this was also in a bundle with uh, Bramble the Mountain King, the one I mentioned. And there seems to be a glitch at least here in India with the pricing. Bramble on its own is quite expensive. But in the bundle with this one, it's a lot cheaper. However, let's talk about just Spirit of the North. 80% off, 106 in India, $4, uh, 335 in the Eurozone, 455 in Canada. Mirror's Edge Catalyst, so this is the second Mirror's Edge game, I think. Um, also, online features for this title will be discontinued on December 8, 2023. Okay, so this is, I think, the sequel to Mirror's Edge. And uh, yeah, I've, it's a first-person parkour game. You don't get a lot of first-person parkour games, like the Assassin's Creed games are third-person. The only other first-person parkour game that was good was Dying Light. So yeah futuristic style game uh, looks very nice and uh, good graphically and it's also quite uh, reasonably priced 90 percent off two dollars hundred in india 269 in canada two euros sea of solitude so another game that when it first came out i had heard quite a bit about this um again a story supernatural platforming style game and also published by ea 
price is reasonable now 75 percent off to 50 in india five dollars 449 in the uk five in the eurozone cold fear so if you saw my stream yesterday i mentioned this one this is ubisoft's first horror game and this is a, quite an old game from 2005 and inspired by the resident evil 4 game from back in the day the original resident evil 4 game so interesting story a lot of people say this is a very very good game hidden gem unfortunately it's not available on gog or other places so you have to go with steam and make it work there might be issues there but it is uh, very cheap so 80 percent off only 50 rupees two dollars 199 in canada 85 cent, uh, pence in the uk 99 cents in the eurozone next is uh, something you may not have heard of this is in verbis virtus so if say if you read this here it says use your real voice to cast spells in verbis virtus a uh, fantasy adventure unlike any other step into the shoes of a wizard in search of an ancient power explore a lost temple making your way through forgotten chambers brimming with unspeakable beauty and terror so fps style game where you are a wizard and you use your voice voice with the mic to cast spells interesting concept uh, and definitely a bit unique 75 percent off 141 in india five dollars 374 in the uk 549 in canada battlefield one so i mentioned this uh, yesterday as well i liked it i liked the campaign of this i did not play much of the uh, multiplayer stuff story driven uh, episodes from the first world war this is 90 percent off as well 250 in india four dollars 349 in the uk 549 in canada and four euros assassin's creed director's cut edition so the very first assassin's creed game it's you uh, sorry not it's you altair so this one here is only 125 in India, five dollars, two fourteen pounds, four ninety nine in Canada, two forty nine in the eurozone. This is where it all started. If you want to check it out, if you're like a newer gamer, you haven't played the original, have a look at this. Um, the second game, Assassin's Creed Two, was a big leap forward from this game, but this might be good for like perspective, I guess. Fallout Three. So yeah, what else can I say about Fallout? Uh, same formula post-apocalyptic setting power armor stuff like that so this is set in uh, this is from 2008 sort of the new style of uh, fallout game after bethesda took over i guess so you have the base game and the game of the year edition which is slightly over uh, five so i'll just mention the base one here 75 percent off 112 249 dollars 224 in the uk 249 in canada sorry 249 in the eurozone 337 in canada at this point might as well get the complete version i did make a start on this game a couple of months ago put in 12 15 hours or something so i'll probably go back and continue with this one anno 1404 so if you are a regular on the channel you know i'm a big fan of this series of games city builders set in sort of the sort of middle ages let's say and different time periods and this one was from late 2000s 2008 or something this version the history edition is like the updated version basically widescreen support slightly better performance uh, updated to run on modern systems nothing major overhaul wise like gameplay wise it's same slight improvement of graphics 16 by 9 support things like that so this one here is 70 percent off 225 in india 449 dollars 374 pounds 599 in canada Prey, so this is Prey from 2017, uh, very interesting game once again, FPS made by Arcane, people behind the Dishonored games, and yeah, despite some early negativity due to it sharing the name with the 2006 game and not being anything similar, the game on its own is pretty good. So this is 90% of 140 in India, $3, pounds 4 in Canada, 3 in the Eurozone. Dishonored 2, so another arcane made game. This IP was really, really good in my opinion from the last decade. And I played the first one, really, really like the second one is like continuation of that story wise. So this one here is 90% off once again, 140, three dollars, 249 in the UK, 399 in Canada. Black Mesa, so this Black Mesa is a full remake of the first Half-Life game. It's a minor tweaks and changes. It's it faithfully follows the first Half-Life game, 
and this is fun for big fans of Half-Life or people who were curious about trying Half-Life but thought the old game was a little too dated graphically so you can check this out and it's a very good game overwhelmingly positive 80% off 105 in India four dollars three pounds and 439 in Canada regional price is still very good in my opinion the Talos Principle uh, first person puzzle game you could say a little bit similar to Portal if you will although different style of puzzles I guess but yeah, beautiful game nonetheless, overwhelmingly positive, was also given away by Epic a while ago. A sequel has also just come out or is coming out soon. I think it's out. So this is the first game, you could try this out and then check out the sequel. 90% off, 130 in India, $299, dollars 249 pounds 389 in Canada. Valiant Hearts, The Great War. So another game set in the First World War, this one has got this sort of cartoony art style it follows the story of four different people all stories are interconnected and it's a very sort of emotional uh, heartwarming film if you will not film game 75% uh, off 187 in India 374 in uh, the US 312 in the UK 374 in Canada Horizon Chase Turbo so another game that has a sequel uh, just come out so it's a old school style arcade racing game as you can see here has been given away multiple times on epic I think like two or three times so probably you already have it if not and you wanted it on steam it's on a great sale 80% off 116 in India four dollars three pound and nine pence and 455 in Canada Hellblade Senna Sacrifice so another game that I like to mention at every opportunity uh, very intense third person game with uh, binaural audio so make sure to play this with headphones um, it also has some very interesting uh, concepts so I don't want to spoil anything but yeah play this it is very different to anything else 85% off 109 in India four forty nine dollars 374 pounds and 30,000 in Indonesia bullets per minute so another game I like to mention every time this is a rhythm FPS um, very fun game in my opinion so you have to shoot jump and reload your gun in sync with the music otherwise none of that happens and so it's kind of hard if you don't get your timing right uh, procedurally generated levels it's a rogue like so you die you start all over again uh, but I found it to be very fun I would recommend you play this on the hardest difficulty because that is where the fun is if you play on easiest difficulties you won't really see the point of this game so 75% off 132 in India, $5, 387 in the UK, 569 in Canada, 490 in the Euros. Mud Runner. So another style of game that I like, off-road simulation style games. Um, so this one here, you are in somewhere in Siberia or something, and you are transporting uh, lumber through difficult terrain. You have different types of trucks and vehicles, and yeah quite hard a game like this a rock on the road or like a slight muddy track is like a boss fight so you have to drive very carefully make sure in the right gear and all of that and pull trucks and things like that I find these games relaxing although there are frustrating moments these are best enjoyed with something in the background something like a podcast or something uh, there's also snow runner you could say it falls in the same category as Euro truck simulator perhaps Although that one is different, it's more like highway driving. This one is completely off-road. So 80% off, 200 in India, four dollars, 3.59 in the U uh, in the UK, and 5.59 in Canada. There's also an American Wilds ex uh, edition, which has an expansion and some more trucks. Uh, this one is 80% off, just under five as well. So you might as well get this. 2.40 in India, 4.39 in the UK. Fury Unleashed, so this is a fast-paced 2D shooter style game. You are like a hero in a comic book and uh, multiple comic books and you go through the chapters of the comic book from like the top panel or to the bottom and then when you complete like three chapters, there's a boss fight. Very interesting, very fun game and I really enjoyed this one. Then we have Elder Bond, so this is a first-person hack and slash game with where you are like a barbarian you have medieval setting or something 
and it's also got like metal music and things so yeah in interesting game and it's quite fun like a silly game as well in some aspects so this is uh, 80 percent no, only 91 that's a bargain i feel three dollars 227 in the uk 349 in canada 249 in the euro so i streamed it at some point i can't remember on which channel but uh had a bit of fun and finally we have the incredible adventures of van helsing final cut so there are three van helsing games this final cut is like an updated remastered version of all three games all of them in one and yeah if you like the arpg style games this one is pretty good and it's also very cheap so this is 90 percent off 180 in india 449 dollars 379 pounds and 579 in uh, canada the three games are also sold uh, separately but get this version if you don't have the previous games because this has everything all three games everything and updated improved graphics etc so yeah that's a quick look at a bunch of games under five dollars uh, hopefully this was useful i'll try and make more videos as many as i can i also need to cover gog and epic at least one video each but i think i've got like the major ones out of the way here on steam Sale is for one week, so uh, I guess most of you have already picked up whatever you wanted. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time.